So I want to take a moment and talk about the concept of an index fossil. An index fossil, this concept is really important, especially if you're going to be going on with me into Geology 102. An index fossil, I like to think of these like a bookmark. So when we find index fossils, it tells me exactly where I am in geologic time. So an index fossil has to meet three criteria in order to become one. So first it has to be widespread, meaning you have to find it all around the world. You can't just find it in Louisiana or in Michigan. You have to be able to find it everywhere on all the continents. Number two, it has to be abundant. It has to be easy to find. It can't be a hard one. And number three, it has to be short-lived. So maybe meaning it only lived in one geologic period or another. So what all this means is when I find a fossil that meets these criteria, it tells me exactly where I'm at in geologic time. I want you to notice fossil D. Fossil D is only found in one unit here. So this is telling me it's very short-lived. We find other, other fossils here that live in two or three or four different time periods. But right here, we only see this one. This is telling me D is a great index fossil. So what I can use D for, let's say D represents the Jurassic. So what this means is if I'm out hiking and I find that this curly fossil and I, and I find it in a rock, that's automatically telling me that that rock layer is Jurassic. Everything above it is younger and everything below it is older. So when I find that fossil, like I said, it's acting like a bookmark. It's telling me exactly where I'm at in geologic time.